Gasification is a process that kind of boils energy out of the forest products, and contrary to burning wood and forest fires, gasification leaves all the carbon that also serves as the source for the future renewable energy's most important basic material, namely graphene, graphite, and the likes. This without any further need for extremely challenging and expensive CDR or CCS. The graphite left intact after gasification, which is nothing else than multiple layers of graphene, if not used as basic material for the industry should be transformed into biochar and returned to the carbon agroforests, where it amongst other important benefits acts as possibly the most sustainable and potent fertilizer and soil structure improver, enhancing even further the mind-boggling capacity of carbon agroforests to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. At this point we will comment on the presented figure. If you start out with the forest, in fact agroforest, the figure presents the production of oils, seeds and fruit, this is so because this already is a rather common practice in certain communities, native Amazon Amerindians, today, as it was in the past. There are many other commercial and certifiable forest products like amongst many others Brazil nuts, acai seeds, coconuts, avogados, papayas, coffee and cocoa beans, cassava, yucca, rubber, edible leaves and branches, soft and hardwood products, organic beef, meat and fish. The mass production of other standard staple crops such as beans, soy, rice, Maize and a variety of potatoes are largely excluded in the case of carbon forests, but remain as options for certain types of carbon agroforests. From the forest, the figure points down to residues like fruit peels of baru and bark of jatoba trees which next will be gasified delivering right away amongst others two renewable gases, as is the case with all other forest biomass. One gas is hydrogen which is kind of high-end and seen as sought after renewable energy when produced by means of electrolysis with the input of solar and wind energy. Unlike in the case of electrolysis with solar and wind energy where significant losses occur, in the case of gasification the hydrogen does not need to be produced, because it is naturally produced and present in wood and other forest produce biomass. Hydrogen can be used to produce synthetic fuel superior to gasoline etc. While this figure only shows gas production and power generation for a rural community, we would like to present the full potential of this gasification and other processes. So to see the full potential you should imagine carbon agroforests around cities and urbanization in general, in the areas that today host monoculture agriculture. Unlike monoculture agriculture, carbon agroforests will offer the cities, communities, etc. also several direct benefits, apart from solving all global challenges.